When it comes to the topic of illness, you have hate coming from all sides. Oh, man. But we're going to discuss this today. We're going to get real surgical with this. The LS has been around since 1997. It was introduced in the C5 Corvette and GM chose this over a dual overhead cam engine that was supposed to go in all of their Corvettes and things of that nature. But they love the bottom end torque of these LS engines. But here we go in 2023 with the next generation of small block Chevy, which is the LTs, and they're still kicking a large amount of ass. But let's say you're LS swapping an RX-8, right? Big turbo LS RX-8. It's going to be that one motherfucker who drive a Camry with an AutoZone spoiler and painted brake calipers talking about how they would have built the three or four rotor and dropped it in there and threw a sequential... Tri Shut the fuck up. These rotaries are about as reliable as your local weed man telling you he's around the corner when he never even left the house. These LS engines have literally whooped more ass than Pootie Tang at a parent-teacher conference. They literally fit in anything. They're cost effective. You can find them anywhere. There are multiple generations and there's a sixth generation of the LS or LT coming out very, very soon. GM got approved to start building on it. It's just like with the Fox body. If you LS swap the Fox body, drop the LS3 with a 6L80E behind it, you know, four, nine inch rear end, just the whole mile, just, just absolutely gorgeous like this one in the photo, right? You're going to have a Ford owner come up to you and say some shit like, oh, that LS doesn't belong in there. I would have dropped the 306. Bitch, that's what you would have did, ho. I did what I felt was right. And an LS felt right. Take that 306 small block forward and shove it up your ass. Now I'll take that back. Shove it up your stepsister's ass because her ass flat enough to replace the mud flaps on the 18-wheeler. For another prime example, big wheel guys. Big wheel guys get a lot of hate simply for being them. But if you ain't got haters, you ain't doing your damn job. I wouldn't have put them big ass wheels on a G body. The paint look good, but the wheels fuck it all. Look. Shut your whole ass up.